What's the best way to prepare for disaster? It's a question lots of people are asking these days as the planet heats up and we face one unprecedented disaster after another. My interest in disasters started with one specific disaster that took place in Chicago in July 1995, one of the deadliest heat waves in U.S. history so far. We go to extremes in Chicago, and that's why people love Chicago. We go to extremes. I walked into the room, and I saw my grandmother lying across the bed, face up. I looked over at the window, and it was nailed shut. sexiness for the news media was it was about the heat. But the real story is, why were people in these neighborhoods dying? People weren't dying on the north side. People weren't dying in the Gold Coast. People were dying on the south and west sides. The minute you see their refrigerator trucks, that means there's so many dead bodies that the coroner doesn't have room for them anymore. That's enough. I think it's really about the heat really about the heat. There is no need for as much poverty in our community as there is. It's a story about these deeper social fault lines that make some members of a city vulnerable and keep others protected and blissfully ignorant about what's happening to people who live quite close to them. Do you think they're addressing that? Do I think the city is addressing the extreme poverty in communities of color in Chicago? Is that what you're asking me? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. So what's the best way to prepare for disaster? I guess it depends on where you live.